now we will talk about next question now in this question choice is given okay it is tick the correct answer okay so aluminum does not corrode because why aluminum does not corrode again i'm reading it aluminum does not corrode why aluminum does not corrode that is the question see uh, this we have not discussed in the chapter actually aluminum has its very good property that it reacts with oxygen okay aluminum reacts with it reacts with oxygen and obviously when when a substance reacts with oxygen so oxides will be formed okay and you know what happens actually when aluminum reacts with oxygen oxygen sorry a layer of oxide is formed and this oxide layer only prevents it from further destruction or further reaction see say for example this is a aluminum rod okay and above this if this layer okay if this is the layer of oxide which is formed now this layer will act as a protective layer okay this will act as a protective layer and it will prevent aluminum it will prevent it will prevent aluminum from further reaction or destruction reaction or destruction or even i can write oxidation further oxidation that you know it is also known as anodizing where the oxides are allowed to get deposited and which is the way to prevent the further reduction or oxidation of that particular metal okay so coming back to the question aluminum does not corrode because the options are it is an inert metal is it an inert metal just try to find out the configuration magnesium is 12 and aluminum is 13 aluminum is 13 just see the configuration 2 8 10 and then 3 10 3 give rise to 13 so is it a inert configuration no not at all so the first option is wrong aluminum doesn't has an uh, inert configuration or inert it is not at all an inert metal coming to the second b option it does not react with air and moisture but aluminum reacts aluminum oxide is formed okay so this is also a wrong option it reacts with air okay and moisture so the next is it gets coated with an oxide layer which prevents further corrosion so this is what i am telling about that it aluminum is what happens it reacts and why i am explaining so much because i have not explained this part was not there in your chapter so what happens aluminum it reacts with oxygen and oxide is formed and this oxide layer get deposited on the aluminum and then it prevents this layer prevents aluminum from further destruction or reaction or oxidation of the aluminum so the correct answer is just let me write the correct answer over here this was the explanation so the correct answer of this is c it gets coated it gets coated with an oxide layer which prevents
which prevents further corrosion. Okay, so it gets coated with an oxide layer which prevents further corrosion. Now we will move to the next one. Okay, now we will discuss about the next one. So the next is citrus juice. Okay, the citrus juice can be stored in a container made up of. Okay, the question is citrus juice can be stored in a container made up of. So first of all, citrus means what? Citrus family means what? Lemon, all khatta fruit will come in this, all, all sour fruits comes in this like lemon, like sweet lime, okay, oranges, all these comes under this citrus family. So they are asking that citrus juice can be stored in the container made up of, means this khatta juice can be stored in which kind of containers? Can it be aluminium? Can it be copper? can it be glass ok. So we have discussed yesterday also in last lecture also that metals reacts with acid and all sour things contains acid. So it is not at all advisable or wise to keep all these things sour things in the acidic things in the metallic jars or containers. So we will go for the which one the correct answer. The correct answer over here is again the C only, it is glass, okay. Now come to the next one, the next question is which of the following is not true about metals, okay. Which of the following is not true about metals, that means whatever they are saying, we have to find whether it is correct as a, for, uh, is it a property of metal or it is not the property of metal ok. So the first is metals are shiny, are metal shiny? We all know metals are shiny and what is the one word of that? It is luster. B is given metals are conducting, we have discussed a lot about metals and the conductivity. So yeah this is also correct for metals, so this is not the right answer. Now I am reading the next one, metals react with each other, do metal reacts with each other? Just see copper plus H, can be formed anything CUH? I do not think so. Now oh my god what I have taken over here, copper metals react with each other. So copper and what I can say, what I can write is copper na, which of the following is not true about the metals, yeah it is we are talking about metal. So copper and magnesium, do they react? No I do not think so, it is looking so silly like we have written, I am seeing this thing the first time in my life, okay. Okay, the next thing I can write, sodium reacts with calcium, so this one is not possible and just go for the last option also, metals reacts with non-metal, surely they reacts with non-metal like what? Sodium reacts with chlorine, best friend, yes, okay. Many examples are there. So, uh, which one is the correct one? Metal react with each other. Uh, this one is the next one, and the answer what is the, like, see, just a coincidence, all the correct answers are C, okay. So, it is metals reacts with metals ok. So this is the correct answer. Now come to the next one, why is steel preferred over iron in construction of buildings? Why is steel preferred over iron in construction of building? We have just discussed before this it is not exactly same but almost same like why what is the question number it is 1 ok, C cow 1. So what is the 
uh, reason why do we use it because because it doesn't it does not corrodes or does not get rusted okay does not get rusted or doesn't corrodes okay that means it is more strong it doesn't get it is an alloy that also we have to write okay see when you are writing a an answer please write in everything now at present i have solved in uh, like i am not written in detail see the question is why steel preferred so first of all you should mention over there that steel is an alloy it is made up of when uh, uh, how it is made when carbon is added to a iron alloy is being made okay this alloy of iron is formed and as we know that alloy changes the property uh, uh, the property of alloys are different from the metal itself so again here also the property of metal is little bit changed and due to which it doesn't get corroded easily and so stainless or which steel they have given steel they have given okay it is preferred over iron now here also i would like to add one more question children like why stainless steel is not used in large scale in the industries or anywhere why stainless steel in place of stainless steel they are um, like uh, steel is used so just let me clear this thing the stainless steel is more costly than steel and that is the reason that stainless steel is uh, avoided and rather steels are used and stainless steels are used at the homes and uh, the form of utensils okay now next question is why are silver and gold used to make jewelry why are silver and gold used to make jewelry the question is question number 2 uh why what is the first reason see just imagine if gold would have of some black color and would have got some uh, dull finish anybody would have liked to wear such kind of jewelry obviously not at all so why it is used it is used because these metals are what these metals have what these metals have luster these metals have luster and what is the next thing like it is at the same time it is very very malleable also okay it is malleable that means sheets can be made it is ductile also hai na malleable then at the same time it is ductile also and very important point it is least reactive hai na it is least reactive okay see silver in fact reacts okay and it gets uh, gray it get turned into grayish color something like that but when we talk about gold gold is a least reactive metal okay like it doesn't react only and so what like what more you want it's so good that you are making the jewelry and you know that it's not going to get uh, rusted or spoiled or corrode so that is the reason these metals means for gold silver and even i can add platinum why these metals are used for making jewelry is because these are least reactive out of this you know this one is more important least reactive and they it is having luster okay coming to the next question why is iron not used please try to understand the difference in the question why is iron not used to make electric cables see when we say when we talk that when in journal when we say that all metals are good conductors of electricity when we say all metals are good conductors of electricity then instead of using copper can't we use can't we use iron see the question again i'll get it for you why is iron not used to make electric cables okay why what is the question number here it is third one because it is a because 
बिकॉज आयन इज पुअ कंडक्टर ओके आयन इज पुअ कंडक्टर ओके आई हैव टोल्ड दिस एन नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स लाइक वी नो दैट ऑल मेटल्स आर वेरी वेरी गुड लाइक ऑल मेटल्स आर कंडक्टर्स बट देन कंडक्टिविटी डिपेंड्स अपॉन लाइक कंडक्टिविटी इट लाइक इट मे बी इट इट इज डिफरेंट इन ऑल द मेटल्स इट मे बी मोर ऑफ वन मेटल एंड इट कैन बी लेस इन सम मेटल सो आयन इज पुअर कंडक्टर एज कंपेयर एज कंपेयर to silver as compared to gold copper i am writing okay as compared to silver as compared to copper and as compared to aluminum and so it is not used then second point can be okay first of all that it is poor conductor finished there is no other thing and like uh, it get rusted also okay so uh, we cannot use ions to make electric cables coming back to the next question this is a quite interesting question children many cooking utensils have bottoms made up of copper we all know that we have discussed this thing also that the kitchen utensils okay especially the pans the uh, which uh, the you know the utensils the uh, what what to say the in which we used to we use it for making bagars and all the thing it has copper bottom but the whole vessel is not made up of copper why does uh, uh, copper uh, why it is not taken to why it is not used to make complete utensil so see first of all copper bottom is taken okay why it is taken because it is good why it is taken because it is good conductor of heat okay it is good conductor of heat but at the same time copper is a reactive metal okay copper is a reactive metal and it is going to react with water means vapors also it can react with okay when we say that we are using uh, it, it in utensil means we have to cook and while cooking it is going to come in contact with everything it will come in contact with uh, water vapor it will come in contact with air oxygen also it will come in contact with carbon dioxide also and you know it will come in contact with acids also okay so we cannot use these kind of metals as a what uh, uh, for making utensils yes why because this will react and obviously it will be harmful for us okay so and you know greenish color layer is formed a greenish layer is formed a greenish layer can be formed on the copper which is made up of what you know it is cuoh twice means it is made up of what copper hydroxide it is made up of copper hydroxide and copper carbonate cuco3 okay so this greenish layer is made up of what it is made up of what copper hydroxide and copper carbonate it is copper hydroxide and copper a uh, carbonate okay so this layer will be formed and obviously this layer will be very very dangerous it won't be safe for us and so and so it is not used to make the whole vessel rather it is used only to make the bottoms okay now we'll go to the next question which is okay now this page is done we'll shift to the next one okay we have got again few objectives over here 
see uh, i'll tell you one thing a uh, saying uh, uh, you know some people said uh, that which like the before independence when people used to be put up into the prisons okay especially the indians i'm talking about when indians were put up into the prisons okay they were sent behind the bars uh the britishers used to use aluminum you know aluminum and cook the food in the aluminum and used to give that food to the indian people you know the one who are there in the uh, prison and with the help of that they used to make them uh, like they used to uh, make them uh, fall sick okay and that was the worst part of that by using certain kind of vessels because it was like you know everybody never came, uh, used to uh, know about this thing this details so uh, this was the worst part and by this also like uh, we can understand like even the olden people the people olden people in the sense the old people the people of uh, any uh, like ancient times also they also know that which metals are used or can be used or best for preparing the food and which metals should be avoided okay now proceeding to the next one it is uh, it is see the objective is it is used it is one word answer it is used for making x ray shields okay it is again i'm going through it it is used for making x ray shields okay so everybody knows that i'll write the number 1 over here lead is there lead which is used to make the x ray shield okay coming to the next one it is sequence the it is the constituent of hemoglobin okay hemoglobin everybody knows what is there i will read it once again it is the constituent of hemoglobin so what is the constituent of hemoglobin it is iron okay you know four uh, iron molecules are there in one uh, when we talk about one uh, about the hemoglobin one molecule so when we talk about that four molecules attached to that okay so now uh okay one more thing here i have written what what is the constituent of um, hemoglobin now let me know what is the constituent of uh, chlorophyll okay what is the constituent of chlorophyll so it is not given i am not writing over here I'll, i can write over here rather so i have discussed this magnesium even this can be asked you should know this okay magnesium is the constituent of the chlorophyll okay magnesium is the constituent of the chlorophyll this is not given over there but i am asking you like what is the constituent of chlorophyll magnesium is the important constituent of the chlorophyll what is the constituent of uh, hemoglobin iron is the constituent of hemoglobin okay which disease occurs or uh, when hemoglobin when a person uh, lacks hemoglobin or i should say when a person lacks blood or a person lacks iron then which deficiency is iron deficiency give rise to which disease so it is what anemia anemia means what deficiency of uh, iron deficiency of blood in the body okay what happens due to deficiency of blood weakness pale color okay giddiness okay so all these are the symptoms of what anemia so again we'll shift to the chemistry part okay now next is tick mark the right answer which one of the following is used for making pencil lead is everyone knows which one of the following is used for making pencil lead is it graphite is it diamond sulfur or silicon so it is what it is a diamond diamond is it diamond 
keep a check it is not at all a diamond what it is it is a what is the given question which one of the following is used for making pencil so it is what graphite ok now second one ok second question which one of the following metal is found in liquid state yesterday we have discussed about the temperature regarding the temperature ok now which one of the metal following metal is found in liquid state they have given mercury silver sodium and calcium see the one where I feel that we do not have to discuss I will just move on so it is what mercury the answer number is again A ok now again third one which of the following is a metalloid yesterday I wrote a big series of metalloids over there boron silicon germanium arsenic all this I wrote on the blackboard now just find out which one is there from the following is it arsenic aluminium calcium or copper is it arsenic aluminium calcium or copper so obviously it is what it is arsenic we have discussed the same yesterday so just let me write the answer here it is arsenic ok so coming to the next one fourth one is a metal used in food packaging is a metal which is used in food packaging is see uh, food packaging means they are talking about the foil ok so foils are made up of what foils are made up of aluminium aluminium is the correct answer for this coming to the fifth one next one next question is a non metal that is very reactive with air is options are nitrogen sulfur carbon and phosphorus so the correct answer is phosphorus and where it is kept we have discussed the saying it is kept in water ok it is kept in water now please move to the next one a non metal used in making glass is a non metal which is used in making glass is just uh, I am reading it please pay attention may it be carbon sand graphite and sulfur is it carbon sand graphite or sulfur so the correct answer is what number it is 6 1 and the correct answer is sand now come to the next one they have written define acidic oxides and basic oxides ok define acidic oxides and basic oxides ok so what is the meaning of acidic oxides ok so acidic oxides are those oxide those oxides of non metals which dissolves in water to form what I am talking about acidic so form to form what shall I write over here those oxides those oxides of non metals which dissolves in water to form acid ok they get dissolved in water to form acid we have discussed this thing yesterday ok now basic oxide what do you mean by basic oxide 
ओके देव आज टू डिफाइन बेसिक ऑक्साइड वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ बेसिक ऑक्साइड दोज ऑक्साइड दोज ऑक्साइड ऑफ मेटल्स और रेदर आई कैन राइट द ऑल्सो वे ठीक है द the the oxides of metals which dissolves in water to form or to give bases okay so we have done this yesterday if you want to write one equation if it is asked so you can give one one equation also okay like s plus o2 give rise to so2 then so2 plus h2o give rise to h2so3 okay sulfur non metal reacting with oxygen oxide is form oxide getting dissolved in water and then sulfurous acid is form if we talk about which one if we talk about uh, acidic oxide now we have done this you yourself will write one equation over here okay now moving to the next one okay and when you write this you also uh, try to explain yourself the test if you have to put if you have to uh, apply the litmus test over here so what will happen we are going to put which kind of litmus blue litmus will get converted into what red litmus blue litmus will get converted into red litmus okay now move to the next one now again we have got um, true and false we have got true and false just let me rub this okay so i'm sure if you are going to solve all the question answers which we are solving over here definitely you are going to score very high because each and every aspect from the lesson has been covered okay so it is going to help you out read the question once and try to solve it without seeing also okay now the next one is true and false okay true and false okay so first one is metalloids share the properties of metals as well as non metals again i'm repeating metalloids share the properties of metals and non metals we all know it is very very true first yeah first it is what true now second metals are brittle in nature just try once try to break iron try to break copper utensils at home so you will understand whether they are brittle or not so i should write over here false coming to the third one aluminum is a non metal okay aluminum is a non metal they are creating like you know like all jokes are there you see now this one is also false come to the next one some non metals are used in producing fertilizers i'll repeat the question some non metals are used in producing fertilizers yeah this is of course true it is correct because we have read this that nitrogen and phosphorus is yes, that what nitrogen and phosphorus are used in what in making fertilizers so it is absolutely correct and these are what these are non metals okay now next one 
metals are good conductors of heat and electricity i will repeat it metals are good conductors of heat and electric electricity so it is what it is again correct fifth one is also correct means true okay now we will move to the next question i am not able to see yeah question number 1 now this one is interesting see the question is question number 1 the question is why is mercury used in clinical thermometers okay i'll repeat the question why is mercury used in clinical thermometer okay so first of all there is a difference there is a big difference in the in the boiling point and freezing point of the mercury okay second one is it is very shiny you all must have seen thermometers at home the question is why mercury is used in place uh, like why it is used in thermometers okay so it is used because uh, uh, the boiling point okay the let me take this show it is used because the difference in boiling and freezing point is very very high okay when we talk about boiling point it is 357 degree celsius it is what it is 357 degree celsius and freezing point is what it is minus 30 deg 39 degree celsius just see how much difference is there here it boils at 357 degree celsius and it uh, it freezes at 339 degree minus 39 degree celsius why it is good to have so much of difference it is always good so that the state like you know it doesn't keep on changing the state and it flows it expands very easily the second part is it's very shiny see when you try to see the thermometer you will find a black color a uh, uh, grayish silverish color line sorry silverish color line which helps you to see the temperature if you cannot see the temperature if it's not shiny so then what is the use of using it when we are not able to see it so it is what it is very very shiny okay then third point we can write is it doesn't or does not stick to the glass it does not stick to the glass means it doesn't like suppose somebody has measured the temperature and if it is at 104 so it doesn't go and stick over there at 104 and say no i won't come down okay if it is at 104 the temperature if it, high temperature is given it will move accordingly and again automatically when it is removed it will also come to the normal now next is it expands okay it expands it expands regularly in all the conditions it is what it expands in all the conditions that means whenever high temperature is given to it it will go it will move up and when again the temperature is minimum so uh, like minimum in the sense when the temperature is reduced again it will also come to the point where it has to be okay so these are the four points 
why the mercuries why the mercury sorry not mercuries why the mercury can be used in the thermometer because there is a big difference in the freezing and boiling point boiling point is 357 degree celsius and the freezing point is minus 39 degree celsius and it is shiny it does not stick to the glass it expands in each and every condition ok. So, one more thing I would like to ask you please uh, just try to answer this to yourself what can be the thing which can be used in place of mercury ok I am asking again which can be the thing or which substance can be used in place of mercury in thermometers uh, just try to uh, give the answer of this ok. So, the answer is alcohol ok even alcohol can be used and then the next question is if it can be used then why it is not used if it can be used then why it is not used it is not used because it is an inflammable substance it catches fire easily and so for the protection purpose the alcohol cannot be used and so uh, mercury is the safest one to use. But you know nowadays this mercury temperature the mercury thermometers are not very often not very used commonly ok it is not uh, used nowadays rather in spite of this people are using you know automatic uh, thermometers which you just keep under your arm or under your tongue and like a small switch is there if you switch it on and keep it after a minute it will beep and again you have to remove and the uh, temperature comes in the you know in the form of the numbers it is written over there. So, nowadays these are also not used it is replaced by the other thermometer the electronic thermometers yes. Now, let us talk about the next one next question is why are bills not made up of non-metals even non-metals are the right even they can be used yes now why we are not using non-metals they are getting angry now. So, why non-metals are not used for making bells see it was what second just wait my chalk will fall down question number when it has gone it is the question number 3 2 sorry question number 2 why non-metals are not used for making bells very simple answer because non-metals are not because non metals are not sonorous or non metals do not just I will change the sentence if you want a better one this sentence is also correct no problem in this a more perfect one ok because non metals do not show normal is going to show sonorous property ok because they do not show sonorous property what is the meaning of sonorous property a property by which they produce a ringing sound ok ringing sound producing property is known as what sonorous ok. Now, the next question is question number third. I will go with the question now. The screwdriver used by, ok. The screwdriver used by an electrician has a plastic or wooden handle, why? Ok. Uh, just do not take the example of screwdriver, take the example of any even, you know. Uh, even the, the wires ok we have seen wires why this copper wires are covered with the plastic ok why because the plastics are what they are bad conductors they will not allow the electricity to pass through them and they will prevent us from the shock. So, in the same way what is the question over here the screwdriver used by an electrician has a plastic or a wooden handle why why it is because plastic or wood 
आर आर हाउ दे आर दे आर बैड कंडक्टर्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड सो दे दे मीन्स वॉट दिस टू ओके दे प्रिवेंट the person from the shocks okay why it is used because the uh, non metals are bad conductors and they are what they will prevent from the shocks okay now we will discuss the next one uh, this is value education based question please try to listen it very carefully mr lal is the president of his society okay mr lal is the president of his society he advises the helpers of the society to put chlorine tablets into the water tanks of the houses to kill germs and make it safe for consumption what value does mr lal exhibit once again i am reading it mr lal is the president of his society he advises the helpers of the society to put chlorine tablets into the water tanks of the houses to kill germs and make it safe for consumption what value does mr lal exhibit okay now this is value based question so we have to uh, talk about little bit about the values see uh, as a prime minister uh, honorable prime minister mr uh, modi is also giving lot of importance to cleanliness okay hygiene so what is the uh, quality which is the which is which, which can be seen like even the person is worried okay that with they are talking about mr lal so mr lal is also worried about the society that means he cares for the society okay so what one could be what which question number is this is there is no question number it is value education based okay so what care for the society he care they care for the society okay care for the society he also love cleanliness clean cleanliness okay he love cleanliness wants to keep like he understands the uh, importance of what he understands the importance of being healthy okay he is also very uh, cooperative he is also very responsible rather okay he is a responsible one see he cares for the society uh, cleanliness okay uh he is cooperative also he is responsible also and he is aware of the need of the hour okay he is aware of the need of the hour like what has to be done okay and uh he also supports okay the welfare of society and also so many we can write so many things we can write he understands the importance of uh, health okay so now it's up to you how you judge it so value value based questions are also very very important part of the syllabus so just go through it once okay 
now next one I am giving it for you find out all big iron and steel plants in the country 